Unity Live Event Lighting Episode 2, Setting Up a Basic Unity Project. So let's go over the simple steps it takes to set up our Unity project. So right here, I have my computer, I've got Windows 10, and I have downloaded the latest version of Unity. Now I'll go over to Projects and click 3D, okay? And then let's name our project Unity Live Event Lighting. Now that our project is loaded, let's check out the layout of our project and make it the way we want. Now you can go up to layout and choose two by three, and then you can take all these boxes, just grab the label and move them around wherever you want. I like to go and change the project to a one column layout. Next, go over to where it says our sample scene and let's just rename this main scene. Now we're ready to get started. In the scene, we have a main camera and a directional light by default. So if you click on the main camera, you can see that information pops up in the inspector. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create the floor. Go to 3D object and cube. Now, take this cube and let's rename it stage floor. Now take this object and make the scale 20.2 by 20, and now we have our stage. The next thing you can do is grab the camera and move it around, and you can see how the camera is viewing our scene and how we can move the camera around. Now we just wanna position the camera somewhere above the stage, and in the future, we'll move the camera around, but of course, we wanna focus on event lighting. Now let's go into some settings. Go to Edit Project Settings. In the Project Settings, let's change the company name and change it to your company name or your own name. Then, we can see that the project name is what we would like, and the main thing is we're gonna go down to Other Settings and Rendering, and change it from gamma to linear. This is going to do better computations of how our light falls off over a distance. Now let's go back to the project and let's go over to the project panel. Now we wanna organize our project nicely, so let's make a couple folders that are gonna house some of our items that we're gonna make. So let's create a script, prefab, material, font, and animations folder. Now let's create our first material. Go to the material folder, right click, create, and go down to materials. A materials item will pop up and we can rename it from there. So let's call it stage material. Now go up to the albedo and we can change the color and so let's make it some type of gray. We don't want the stage to be showing up very much. So let's make it some type of gray we don't want it to be smooth or metallic. Now that our stage is set up, you can see that I can hold down Alt and move the camera around in the scene view. Awesome, now let's go to the camera and let's go down in the settings and we want the rendering path to be deferred, which is the best for real time. And then we have this pop up, so let's turn the anti-aliasing off on the camera. Anti-aliasing, will hinder our performance of our computer. So if you're working on an older computer, uh, I'm turning it off for this demonstration to show that, of course, Unity works on new and old computers. And also, anti-aliasing is something that we can introduce later on in a future episode. Great, now our project is set up. So let's hit save and let's go to the next video and learn more about awesome Unity lighting.